Yeah, good morning, people. Cole Simmons here. <clears throat> I just want to get a real quick video out here. Just put this shit to rest. Um, we all know that Coach Prime, before he came to Jackson State, interviewed at Arkansas. Uh, we know he interviewed at um, Florida State. There was rumors about Southern Miss, but... Why TCU? I don't think Coach Prime will actually settle for TCU. When you come to a certain level, you have to pick and choose. And just to say, oh, well, he got the first interview with TCU, he's going to go to TCU. I don't think he's going to settle for something like TCU. Yeah, they have a big endowment it's in the area where he lives at. Well, you got to look at what he did. He interviewed at Arkansas because what? Jerry Jones is real close with him. Jerry Jones is from Arkansas. FSU. He's the most notable alum from FSU. The Bowdens wanted him over there. And when he came to Jackson State, it was just to change the culture. Why is it? And I'm gonna I'm lose some some supporters here, but why is it that they only want a black man to go work for somebody he can beat? Dead serious. Gary Patterson's done a great job. Twenty one years at TCU. No knocking the man. Gary Patterson can't recruit for shit. He can develop. He can put you into his system. It's a great coach once you're there. Recruiting is not his style. Dion is not that kind of coach. The thing people keep forgetting is they think that, I mentioned it before, we have coaches who are dynamic in play calling. Coaches who are dynamic in making schemes. You have coaches who are great at motivating and letting others create the right schemes and play calls. That's Coach Sanders. That's the NFL way of coaching. You don't really think Mike Tomlin's over there in, in the defensive backfield teaching people how to be a cornerback. So, let's put it to bed real quick, man. Look, I don't think he's going to leave your TCU. I do think he may have got an interview to see what he's worked out there. You know, just see how much he should ask for if it does come to it. It won't be TCU. In fact, if you look at a lot of TCU websites, their fan websites, none of them won't be on Sanders there. I've actually gone to a TCU game in 2017 versus Jackson State. We were in the area and tickets were real cheap because no one goes to those games. And I heard the crap that the fans were saying in the crowd about HBCU players, inferior colleges, waste of time. If anybody's been in the South, you see that there's only one black head coach in the group of five in the South. You see there's only one offensive or defensive coordinator, take it back, two offensive or defensive coordinators in the group of five, uh, power, sorry, power five in the South. None in the SEC. The head coach from Norfolk State left to go coach tight ends at Eastern Carolina. I'm not trying to bring race into this, I really am not. But it's just looking and observations. You're good enough to get the players there. You won't be able to bring your staff with you. And one thing we do know about Coach Sanders, he's very loyal. 
this is the last thing I'm gonna say about this until this is all settled. But I got a bone to pick with somebody else in my next video. I ain't saying no names, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs>